Away! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver. The Lone Ranger. Wagon trains which brought the pioneers into the western United States faced many dangers. The country was rough, the trails were poorly marked, and the Indians were hostile. But worst of all, outlaws found it easy to join the emigrants and, when the right moment presented itself, to rob the honest settlers of their money and property. The wagon train which started out from Pine City under the leadership of Asa Johnson faced this danger and might never have reached its destination if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's going to be trouble in Pine City. We've got to hurry. Hi, Silver! Away! <laughs> The sheriff's office in Pine City was in the front of the building which also housed the county jail. As our story opens, Duke Austin and his partner, Shorty Fowler, walk up the steps and... That's the sheriff's horse, sir, Shorty. I reckon he's in all right. If he ain't, we're... One side engine. Me not in way. Why, you know... Come on, Duke. We ain't here to start no fight with a redskin. We're here to talk to Billings. Make trouble, maybe the sheriff will change his mind. Well, remember this, engine. Next time you see me, come and stay clear. I'm too not afraid. Come on. Howdy, Sheriff. You the fellow that's billing sent for? That's us. Now come on in and shut the door. Can we see him? Not with guns on your head. Wait till I see if you're carrying any spare shooting irons or knives or such. Sure. Go ahead, search us. Uh-huh. Well, I don't find anything. We can talk to Billings alone, can't we? Why should you? Why? It's this just... way, Sheriff. That skunk held us up once back in the Dakotas. We'd like to find out what he'd done with the stuff he stole. Maybe he won't be so anxious to talk with the law around. Mm, all right, go ahead. Through that door there and down the hall. You'll find Billings in the third cell you come to. Thanks, Sheriff. Mind you ain't in there too long. Just a few minutes is all. Better close this door behind you, Duke. Yeah. That must be where he is. Hey, Billings, you there? I sure am. Howdy, Shorty. Hello there, Duke. Yes, I'm glad to see you fellas. You sure got yourself in a mess, didn't you? Anybody around to hear what we say? <laughs> I'm the only border the county's got. Uh, how in blazes did they get you, Billings? It's the first time I ever heard the law tripping you up. It wasn't the law, blasted. No? no? It was a masked fella. If I ever get a my hands... A masked fella? Well, how'd it happen? You heard about me holding up the cafe last night, didn't you? We heard little. Well, everything was going fine. I made the barkeep hand over the cash, and I threw some shots at the lamps to cover my getaway. Hey, shut out the light! Stand where you are! I'm clearing out! And the first one of you to stick your nose through this here door will get a taste of lead! Hold still there, fella. 
before I make it cracks. Get up there. Get up there. There is no silver. Come on, boy. What the? Get up. Get up there. Pull up there. Out of my way. Come on, silver. I'll show you. Take this back. Out, out. Pull up. Pull, pull there. Pull. You robbed me. You're choking me. Let me loose. Let me loose, Blasher. Pull, pull, silver. Pull, boy. Pull. I've been on your trail, Millings. I got here too late to prevent that holdup, and not too late to see that you're turned over to the law. Max, who are you? Get off that horse. No, let me loose. Let me go. They're after me. Can't you hear them coming? Let me get out of here. I hear them, and I'm leaving you for them to get out of that saddle. You won't escape them on foot. But I Quick, said... before I drag you out. <laughs> They're rope. Wait, I... stay around you. Here, I'll take your horse. Hold that man. Don't leave me here. Come on, Silver. Come on, boy. Wait, come back. My horse. Hold your hands. Grab him, fella. I give up. I give up. Don't shoot. Who's that hombre that rode away? I don't know, Sheriff. But by heavens, I'd give ten years of my life to find out. You already have. Because if you don't spend the next ten years in jail, I'll swallow my boots. All right, head for the jailhouse. I'll get going. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, so the masked fellow tripped your billings without you even knowing who he is, huh? No, blast him. Well, what do you want to see it for? And how'd you find out where we was? You fellas got to get me out of here. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Billings. None of that for us. We jined up with a wagon train, and we're heading west. And we aim to steer clear of trouble. <laughs> At least ways for a spell. But Billings, you ain't said how you found us. I seen you when I was looking over the ground yesterday. Seen your wagon, too. What made you fellas throw in with a bunch of greenhorn emigrants? Oh, just figured a change of scenery might be healthy. <laughs> We're hidden in the new country, Billings, and growing up with it. More likely you got some scheme to get them emigrants cash. Well, it's our business, and we're tending to it. Sorry we can't mix in with yours. Now, hold on, fellas. I'd help you out if you was up again it. Yeah? <laughs> I can just see you doing it. I hope you called in the wrong customers, Billings. Like Duke said, we're sorry, but it's just no dice. Well, look Come here. on, Shorty. We're wasting our time. Now, wait. I'll, I'll pay you cash. Huh? Yes. Well, now that's more like it. Thought you might mention something like that before you was through. How much cash? A uh, hundred dollars. Shucks, now I know we're wasting our time. Well, so long, Billings. We'll look you up when you get out. Two hundred. Now, why don't you come right out with your top price without all this fooling around? Give us five hundred apiece and it's a bargain. But we ain't taking a dollar less. Just ain't worth it to us. That'd be a thousand dollars. Uh-huh. What if I ain't got that much? Yeah, most likely you ain't. But that's nothing to us, except it means you'll be staying here. All right, I'll give you a thousand, five hundred apiece. Don't tell us you didn't have to give back what you stole from the cafe last night. I got the thousand, hid away where I made camp. I left it behind just in case I ran into trouble. Good enough. Now all you've got to do is tell us where the cash is hid. We'll go after it, and if we find it, then you're as good as out right now. Get me out first, and then I'll take you there. No, you heard our terms. You blasted crooks. Ain't you a little mixed up? You're the crook. We're honest fellas. <laughs> you being behind bars and us outside <laughs> proves it. You won't double-cross me if I tell you how to find the cash? Never heard of us double-crossing anybody yet, have you? All right, I'll tell you. But if you don't play square, I'll get even somehow. You see if I don't. That evening, two stealthy figures avoided the light thrown from the windows of the sheriff's office and stole toward the rear of the jail. When they reached the barred window that marked Billings' cell, one of them quietly called out, Billings! Who's there? Keep your voice down, blast it! It's us, Duke and Shorty. So you didn't double-cross me? Of course we didn't. The sheriff's out front. Go around, pull a gun on him, and make him let me out. Then we'll hightail. Nothing doing. You'll get yourself out. But what is... Here, you... take this gun. You got it? Uh, yeah. Now holler what... for the sheriff. When he gets her, throw down on him. You make him let you out. But why not you, fellas? We're doing enough as it is. We got to get you out of town, don't we? You promised you would. Well, what chance of doing that will we have? There was no we helped you. We ain't going to have the law after us. You can bet on that. You no, know, I want is a horse. The mass fella took mine. You won't need no horse. We got a better scheme. Yeah? You're going along with a wagon train when it pulls out in the morning. Now, oh, look, you here. do like we say, Billings. We give you a horse and turn you loose, and the first thing we know, the law will have your back. You'll be telling who gave you that gun. What you're going to do is travel with us so as we know you won't talk. Then how about them emigrants? How am I going to hide from them? <laughs> Don't you worry your head about that. 
We'll hide you safe enough right in our own wagon. Well, right. Now, go ahead and do like we told you. Call the sheriff. Make him let you out and then throw him in your cell and leave him there. Then join us back here and we'll run for the wagon. Didn't you bring no horses with you at all? They'd leave a trail and make too much noise. Now, get going. All right. Wait out there for me. We'll be right out here, Billy. Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff, come here! Hurry up, Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff! What's all the noise for? Come here, I want to show you something. Show me something? What's wrong? Just take a look at this, mister. I'm going to... You're right. When you unlock this here door pronto, I'm using that same. Where'd you get that? I'll... Shut up and do like I told you. you. I ain't bluffing. If you think I am, just call my bluff. You won't get away with it. I'll worry about that. What you've got to worry about is whether you can unlock this door before I pull the trigger. You got the drop on me, but by thunder, I'll find out who give you that gun. And when I do, he'll sit in jail along with you. You'll have to catch us first. Now get in there. Huh? Come on, get in where I was. It's my turn now. I'm locking you up. Oh, I, I ain't got the time to argue with you. When I get out again, I'll have every man in town looking for you. <laughs> when you get out, Sheriff. When you get out. <laughs> Help! Help! Deputy! Ernie! Hey, where are you? Get me out of here! Help! Help! Deputy, come here! Let me out! The sheriff's deputy heard the lawman shouts and released him. Posses were formed at once and every trail watched, while the town itself was searched thoroughly for the escaped outlaw. Even the wagon train camped just outside was investigated, but with no result. Tonto aided in the search, and then when morning came and still no trace of Billings was found, the faithful Indian returned to the camp he shared with the lone ranger. Oh, scout. Oh, oh. I expected you back oh. last night, Kimosami. What kept uh, you? Outlaw fella. Get way. Broke jail? Huh? But how did it happen? Where'd he get to? Who helped him? Him pull gun on lawman. Make lawman let him out. Yes? Who gave him the gun? Me not know that. Them not find out, law. Whoever gave Billings a gun must have given him a horse, too. He's likely a long way from Pine City by now. And that not right. No? Him hide someplace. Him not right way. Me look all around town. Not find trail. That doesn't mean he didn't ride out of town. He could easily have followed one of the well-traveled trails. And the prints of his horse would have been covered. Him not do that. How do you know? Lawman ask fella ride to town on trail. Them not see him. Oh. Posse follow trail, too. Them not see him. Then he must be hidden in town. Perhaps with a man who gave him the gun. Mm, look everywhere. Him not in town. The wagon train? The search wagon train, too. Wagon train leave now, though. I don't understand that. He couldn't disappear into thin air. If Billings isn't in town, then he must have either found a horse somewhere and made his escape with it, or gone with a wagon train. Tonto, no, him not take horse. But you said the wagon train was searched. That's right. This is bad. I was afraid Billings might do something like this. That's why I asked you to stay in town for the day and keep an eye on things. Tonto, see two feller, talked outlaw. You did? When was that? Four, five hour, four sun go down. Them talked to outlaw in jail. What did they have to say? Uh, me not here. Me try, but not get close. Wonder who they were. Them from wagon train. Looked like bad feller. You're sure they were from the wagon train? Uh-huh. Did the sheriff investigate? Did he question them? Uh-huh. But him not find outlaw. Did you see anyone else call on Billings before his escape? No, at all. Billings was helped by someone. Is the sheriff still watching all the trails? Uh-huh. Him do that. I don't know in what way, but Tonto, I've got an idea that wagon train and the two men who called on Billings in jail had something to do with his disappearance. Here, Silver. We'll soon catch up with the immigrants. When we do, we'll stay out of sight until tonight. And I want you to point out the two men who talked to Billings when he was in jail. Did he, Silver? Huh? Tonto, do that. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Hail, Silver! Away! The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. In an effort to find and recapture the outlaw Billings, the Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the wagon train. That night, the emigrants made camp out on the prairie. Duke and Shorty walked from wagon to wagon, talking to various members of the party, among them Asa Johnson's leader. But finally, they returned to their own wagon, which had been placed at some distance from the others, and... Listen to them galoots. <laughs> Sing him. We'll take care of them later on. We're safe enough so far. There ain't a fellow we talked to that suspicions we had anything to do with Billings getting clear. <laughs> yeah. So all the good did the sheriff to search the wagon train before we pulled out this morning was to make old Asa hop and mad at the law. <laughs> uh, here we are. We're going to sleep inside the wagon, ain't we? That way we... Up with your hands. What the... Man, call out. Tonto. No, me here. A redskin. Keep still. Tonto, I want you to search the wagon yourself while I have a talk with these fellows. Uh -huh. Tonto, do that. Hey, look here. Stay away from that wagon. What do you think you you're doing? You know who we're after. But what are you doing? You know you're Billings' friends. You've had something to do with his disappearance. That ain't so. No? It ain't, I tell you. The sheriff knows why we went to the jail to see that fella. He robbed us one time. We were just trying to see if he'd tell us what he'd done with the stuff he stole from us. No. Now tell that redskin to stay clear of our wagon. He ain't got no right to interfere He'll with us. He'll do as he's been told. But he ain't the got no... The sheriff made a search, but he may have overlooked something. He didn't pass up nothing. We'll find out. Billings isn't here. We'll leave you alone. We're going to make certain, however. We'll show you. You Keep can't Keep your do... hands up. Don't make another move like that. You pay for this. Better take it easy, Duke. Take your friend's advice. But what if the Redskin's trying to steal something? What if he's We're trying to get outlaws? Then what are you wearing that mask for? That's my business. There's the engine coming back. Find any trace of them, Tonto? No. Me not find them. You looked everywhere? Uh-huh. Yeah, you see, we told you. Now clear out and leave us alone. Very well. Come, Tonto. Uh -huh. The next time you show up here, mister, and you and that engine part of yours, we'll be ready for you. That's a warning you better mind. We probably won't be back. If Billings isn't with you, that's all we're interested in. Good riddance. We ride to town now. Tonto, we're staying on the trail of this wagon train. Why we do that? I'm more convinced than ever that Billings is here somewhere. Each day saw the wagon train farther along the westward trail. Twice the immigrants stopped at water holes and replenished their water supply. But after the second time... The masked man raced back to his camp. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, Silver. Oh. Tonto. Uh, what's the matter? I think I've discovered where Billings is. Mm, that good. If I'm not mistaken, they chose not only the most natural hiding place, but the one place no one would think to look. Where's that? I'll show you tonight. It'd get dark soon. Yes, the wagon train is making camp now. They'll have their evening meal and then turn in early. And Tonto, as soon as the camp is quiet, we'll act. The Lone Ranger did not know that at the same time he made his discovery, he himself had been seen by Duke. The outlaw rode back to his wagon and... Whoa there, whoa, whoa, whoa there. Didn't find no game, huh, Duke? I've seen plenty. Well, why'd you shoot some man? We need fresh meat and here you come back without... Shut up and listen to me. What in blazes is ailing you? Where's Billings? In front of the wagon under some blankets. Now don't go to worrying about him. There ain't going to be nobody nosing around here now. No. Well, that's just where you're wrong. Huh? Guess who I seen snooping around today? Snooping around? What are you talking about? The mask fella. You're loco. Loco, am I? You think I didn't? And you're the one that's loco. I was just drawing a bead on some buffalo when I seen that big white horse of his cut out from a gully and head north. He said he was clearing out. Uh-huh, but he didn't. So you see what that means? Uh, he still suspicions us. Right. And as long as he keeps hanging around, we're likely to be caught. I'd give a heap to know who that fella is. Did he see you? I doubt it. I was laying down using a rock for a rifle rest. He wouldn't have seen me unless he'd knowed where to look. Mm. And maybe... Yeah? Maybe we could find where he's made camp and get rid of him. Then we'd I get... got a better scheme. What's the matter with getting There's rid of him? There's plenty to matter with it. What about the redskin? How do we know we can handle the two of them fellas together? What's more, we don't even know if we can find their camp. Well, we... And if we did and got rid of both of them without no trouble, how do we know the law back in Pine City didn't put the masked fella up to following us? Then we'd be blamed for the killing. Well, if you got a better idea, let's hear it. We won't get rid of the mask, fella. We'll get rid of Billings. What? Keep your voice down, you idiot. Sure, why not? What's the matter with that? But he paid us to get him clear. Uh-huh. And we got the cash, ain't we? He can't take it away from us. Yeah, but Look that here. Don't... No matter what the mask, fella, suspicions, nobody knows for sure that Billings is with us. Ain't that right? I reckon. Get rid of him and nobody will ask questions. 
Because nobody can prove he was with us. Duke, maybe you're right. You bet I am. We've got Billings' cash. So there's nothing to be gained by keeping him alive. And with him out of the way, we're in the clear. But how... How will we do it? Yeah. You leave that to me. I'll think of a way. I'll... See. Now what? Tomorrow. Tomorrow's when the wagon train has to follow that mountain trail. Yeah? What of it? I'll tell you what of it. I got a scheme already. Shorty, you just listen to this. Shorty, Duke, and Billings slept inside the wagon. The following morning, Shorty woke up just before sunrise and wakened Duke. Duke. Hey, Duke. Uh, what's the matter? Duke, wake up. Huh? What? Oh, morning. We'd better get Billings fixed, Duke. Camp will be astir in another half hour. Yeah, we... Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to wake Billings up so as we can say goodbye, that's all. But, Duke... Don't I... you worry. Hey, there. Wake up, Pard. Come on, get that sleep out of your eyes. Oh, uh... Oh, golly, is it morning already? The sun will be up before long. Uh, we're getting ready to leave. <laughs> we ain't Billings, but you are. Uh, I... Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> I just waked you up so me and Shorty here could sort of say goodbye to you. Say goodbye? You and Shorty? I don't get this. You will, Billings, you will. Hey, you ain't planning on double-crossing me, are you? <laughs> now, whatever put a thing like that in your head, Billings? You are... You're up to something. Don't lie to me. Now, now, I'm I paid not... you to help me escape. I give you cash. You can't. Now, do... don't take it so hard, Billy. Don't do. Don't double cross me. I, I'm your partner. Don't I... go to yelling. Shorty, you ain't turned on me. Why don't you do it? Finish it up. Wait. No, please stay back, dude. No. Oh. There. Is he out? He's out cold. Now get me them ropes and a gag. Hurry before he comes to again. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and Shorty. By the time we've got across the hills today, we'll be in the clear. <laughs> in the clear, Shorty. <laughs> Gagged and bound, Billings was hastily concealed in the hiding place that had served him before. Not long after the camp awakened, the wagons were lined up, and once more they were on their way. A trail led across a barrier of hills. On one side of the wagons, almost scraping the hubs of their wheels, rose a sheer cliff. On the other side, a canyon fell away for a thousand feet. We see Duke now as he climbs from the rear of the wagon to join Shorty on the seat. Get along there, you critter. Get along. Move over, Shorty. Yeah. You got it all fixed? <laughs> It'll break off and fall into the canyon any minute now. I seen to that. What'd you do? Pulled out a couple of the nails holding the platform to the wagon. Just enough so with the weight of the barrel, it'll let go. <laughs> and fall right into the canyon with Billings inside the barrel. Now you see why I told you to make sure our wagon was the last one in line today. You mean in case the barrel breaks when it hits the edge? Sure. This way there's no one behind us to see it. <laughs> Slick enough. And when folks notice the water barrel's gone, we just tell them the platform was too weak to hold it. <laughs> Nobody's going to think anything about a barrel being missing. It ought to be dropping right quick now. Get up there. Get up! Maybe I ought to go back there and take out a couple more nails. I thought it'd be... Wait! Well, there she goes. Take a look. The barrel never even hit the side of the trail. And that's the last we'll see of Billings. Let's stop and Nothing see... Nothing doing. We'll keep right in line. Just as though we didn't figure it was anything important. Hey, pull up. You gotta stop. Huh? The wagon's ahead. They're stopping. Pull up before we run into them. Oh, there. Oh! Oh! Oh, up there! There's Aether walking this way. Howdy, Aether. What are we stopping for? Howdy, Duke. Hello there, Shorty. What's the matter? That's what I come to ask you. I've been riding with Dave just ahead of you there, and I thought I heard... Oh, I see what happened. Your water barrel broke away, huh? Yep, took a tumble into the canyon. But that ain't nothing to trouble about. I think it is. What? That blasted place? mask fella. Where'd you come from? I've been following behind you. Aza, I think it'd be worth your while to stop here until you sent a couple of men down into that canyon. What for, stranger? The water barrel that fell down there didn't contain water. Look here, you're crazy. Come on, Aza, let's get moving. I'm sort of interested in what the mask hombre's got to say, Duke. Go on, stranger. I think you'd be interested to find out just what was in that barrel. Mm. Do as I say. Send someone down there to investigate. Won't hurt nothing, I reckon. I'll get... No, the... there ain't no use in doing that. It's only an old... What are you getting us ahead up about, shorty? You ain't done something wrong, have you? Why, of course not. But when you ain't got nothing to fear, if Dave goes down to have a look like the masked hombre says, 
So I just... But listen, Steve, wait. Yeah? You ain't really going to waste our time like this, are you? You ain't going to be fool enough to stop here just on a mask man say so, are I reckon you? I am. Oh, no, you ain't. What are you... Oh, my hand! Keep up, leather shorty, and you'll get the same. My hands are raised. Now, Vanessa, do you believe what I told you? That I do, stranger. And I'm sorry I didn't take your word for it before. Sato! Uh, we bring power. Well, I'll be... It's Billings! The man you thought you'd sent to his death in the canyon. But how'd he get free? How'd he you get here? You knocked Billings out this morning and put him in that water barrel. The same hiding place you used to get him out of Pine City. But I didn't. It was the best hiding place you could have used. Nothing's more valuable to a wagon train than water. Now, look here, Why, you... It never occurred to anyone that that barrel didn't contain water. And I didn't guess it myself until I noticed that twice you passed up water holes without filling it. Bless you, so that's how you guessed it. Right after you put Billings into the barrel this morning, Tonto and I took him out again and put in stones instead. But when I told Aza where Billings had been, he wouldn't believe it. That's why we had to make you think we were going to search for the barrel in the canyon. Your own fear confessed the uh, truth. Tricked. Not only that. But since your attempt on his life, Billings has told when he knows of your plans, that you were staying with a wagon train only long enough to locate the money and valuables these people have. That's a lie. We never schemed no such thing. You can't take Billings' word for that. Yeah, He's double Try to kill me, would you? Well, maybe I've got to go back to jail, but I'll see that you fellas go right along with me. I'm testifying to everything again you that I know. Are you Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank <laughs> you.